Sharp Asus when hunting up in North Texas. Arrived a little before sundown, did a quick survey of the property looking for hog sign. Found this telephone pole with these hog rubs around the base of it and hog footprints. So I decided to set up here. It's going to be a nice night. Fairly clear, fairly bright moon, 77% illumination. That's going to be important later when we get out the Psionics Aurora and look at the video from it. Spotted the hogs with my IR patrol. Hastily put the Psionics on my rifle, which I had been working with as a handheld, and I started my stalk. As you can see, we have good conditions. Winds are not going to be a problem for this stalk. The only problem here is that the hogs are in a little bit of a low area from where I'm standing, and so I need to get a little bit closer before I attempt to make any shots. With each change of scene, I've advanced the tripod a little bit further, getting closer to the hogs. Optics provided by Third Coast Thermal. Right now I'm selecting the hog that I want. I'm going to take this larger hog that's in the front. It seems to be my best shot. Here we go. That hog is hit once with a glancing shot, and I pick it up here. First hog is down, third hog is down, second hog is moving, so give it a quality assurance. <coughs> And now to the video from the Psionics Aurora. Here's where I'm just starting my stock after putting the camera on the rifle. You can see the suppressor at the top center of the screen. And remember there's a rise between the hogs and myself, so the hogs are a little bit hard to see from this point. And if you're on a cell phone, you may not be able to see them. If you're on a home computer, larger screen, you'll be able to see several dots. And now I've moved up to about 90 yards, and you can start to make out the hogs a lot better. There they are. I don't think the wind's going to be too much of an issue, but you can hear it blowing by. And just so that you can see that it is indeed nighttime, there are the stars as I'm making the shift with the rifle. And now I have a little bit better view of the hogs. All right, here we go. And did I mention this was a field test? Watch carefully. And the camera that I hastily put on the rifle apparently did not get attached properly, and it came off. That was a quality assurance shot. Now here I've zoomed in the image to two times digital zoom. And there it goes. All right, I ended up with three sows, 140-pound pregnant sow, 75-pound, and 65-pound sow. Carpe sus, my friends.